What on earth has he bought? Well, good day, guys. Welcome back to Layla Central. My name's Clinton, your average modeler, and this is another episode of Month. Now, as part of Monthly Mailbox, I go through my purchases for the month that I've actually made. In this case, uh, we've got this lovely box right here. But one of the other things that I'm going to mention uh, that's really occurred in my purchases, but not really part of Monthly Mailbox, is I've purchased a new video camera and I'm recording on it for the first time. Now with Monthly Mailbox, um, here's my purchases here for August. Now I have made a couple of other purchases recently at a hobby shop that I made, which I'll go through with you later on. But um, we'll see what I've actually um, purchased here and we'll share it with you. Now this box uh, this month has been a delivery from Hattons. Um, this, the contents in this box have been a little bit unexpected. I didn't plan on these, um, but opportunity presented itself. Um, so let's take a look what's inside here. Now it should come as no surprise to you guys that I've gotten some more of these vent vans. Um, I noticed on Hatton's website um, their stocks were depleting very quickly. These have been quite popular and rightly so. They're a good value model uh, for what you actually get. And if you want to build a long rake of them like I'm uh, in the process of doing, um, you know, it's going to, these are economical and they're quite good. Okay. Now the other thing that's in here, the things I should probably say, is a nice selection of Buckman coaches. Now these aren't brand new, these are second hand that I saw at Hatton's website. Um, these were an absolute steal. Now not only was the price very attractive, I mean these were second hand, but these are in like new condition. Um, I cannot find these chocolate and cream coaches anywhere um, at the moment. They're just not in supply, no one's selling them. So seeing these and in the condition they were and the price it happens, I swooped on them pretty much. So I've got quite a few of them. So in there I've got a, uh, uh, a Mark 1 open along with a just a composite uh, coach there. I've got another one here as well. And this one is a uh, just a corridor. All the same colour. I've got another one here as well. This one here is the first corridor. We've got a restaurant car. This one here, which uh, essentially grabbed my attention first up. And the other coach is a just a brake corridor coach right there. So six. Uh, so where we got we got six coaches right here. Um, they're going to look fantastic going around the layout. I'll be needing more of these uh, or coaches in general but the fact that I found these uh, ones very very quick. Okay and the other thing that we've actually gotten here is something from Helgen. Okay now what I've done here is I've just uh, adjusted the camera so this is my first model by Helgen I've never had a Helgen item before um, so this is going to be the christen. This, uh, this item as well was second hand again from Hattons perfect uh, price it was second hand like new and um, we'll take a look at it so this is my first Helgen model and as you can see there I've bought myself a class 27 so we'll get that out of the ice cube tray I think and uh, get more of a closer look so this is my first uh, diesel locomotive with the exception of the shunters obviously that I've already gotten and that open. Oop. I think what I'll do is I'll lower the camera as well for you. Okay, and there it is. So that's my Class 27 by Helgen, my very first locomotive by uh, Helgen, or Helgen, depending on uh, how you pronounce it. I'm just going with what I know. Um, so Lake BR livery, of course, and just the white and the green. Um, comes with the uh, the detail pack as well. Um, that you know, no details have been fitted. There's no marks. It's in very, very nice condition. Um, and like I mentioned, the price was fantastic. And uh, for a second-hand locomotive, um, these had also been on my watch list to get. And uh, opportunity presented itself like the coaches. 
saw them and I swooped on them pretty much. So um, so that, geez, a bit of weight in it. And, um, and like I mentioned, there's the detail pack, all completely still on sprue, nothing fitted at all. So what a bargain. Um, so I think what I should do now is pop this uh, model open, let's get a chip into it and get her on the layout. Okay, here we are on the railway now. Uh, got her on, got the chip fitted, and uh, so now it's a case of running it in and seeing how she actually goes. So at the moment, because uh, it's a new chip, this chip will be set to uh, address number three. So what I'll do is I'll fire her up and away she goes. Okay, let's get these coaches on uh, in the meantime and uh, gotten them out of their boxes. These are very nice. Um, considering these are second-hand, pre-owned, um, they are marvellous. I've got that one the wrong way around. Absolutely marvellous. Now, I'm not sure how um, how these are supposed to be organised in what order, but um, yeah, so forgive me. Just ignore it, obviously. Um, I mean, I am an Australian and I can't really find a lot of the information that I want, especially around formations and uh, other research. And that uh, there's the restaurant car. And um, like I mentioned, you know, there's no marks. The detailing packs are all included. And the one thing I have noticed inside the tables, and you might be able to see on the on the camera there, is on the edges. So if you have a look at the second table, so not this one, the one at the back here. Uh, notice how the edges there of the table are not fully coloured. Um, like this one here, for example, in this one you can see the mark. So the tablecloths haven't been painted uh, completely right around the edges there. And um, that, because I know it's there, it's going to bug me. Uh, yes, yeah, same on the other ones as well. So that's going to bug me, but uh, that's all right. I'll, uh, I'll get some paint and I'll uh, address those when I um, get around to putting some passengers um, in these things. Um, so not sure when I'm going to do that, but um, some point in the future. We will get a, uh, a lot of unpainted figures and uh, start populating these coaches. So, second last one. Now, I did notice, uh, for those that have been following the channel for a while, I already had uh, two coaches, uh, again, that I bought secondhand um, from this uh, pack. So now, uh, you know, from these, the chocolate and cream, I've now got a rake of eight coaches. Um, all nice, so these are going to look absolutely amazing going around the layout. So let's hook them up and get them going. So after uh, recording all of that uh, footage for this August monthly mailbox, the one thing that uh, I wasn't aware of that I'd actually uh, hit my 400 subscribers before I even uploaded it. So rather than doing a special video separate to this, I'm going to include this unboxing of this uh, item in this uh, monthly mailbox video itself. And of course, as I edited the original part of the video, I noticed my audio was getting cut out right at the end because I was stopping the camera way too early, even though I thought I'd had given it enough time. So, but anyway, there will be some changes from this point onwards. So as I mentioned, this is my special unboxing to celebrate the 400 subscribers. This, the item or items that are in here, I would not normally have bought. Um, however, what I've done is I've sold some models off, some railway related items to fund these, um, and they're gonna fit very, very well on the layout. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's see what is inside here. And that's right, I've purchased some Acura scale um, Chemflow bulk cement wagons. And not just uh, one box, or two boxes, or three. Oh, look at that, there's another one, or four. Or five, six. Ah, oh, there we are. And the additional one. So what I've done is I've purchased the entire set. Got a discount, obviously, on the lot because they offer it on their website. And um, you know, I've got 
a whole rake of 19 of these. So uh, I think what we need to do is get them out of their box, take a close look and then get them running on the layer. Okay, here we are. So here's the box or one of uh, <laughs> out of six of these large ones plus an individual one. So we'll open this up and we'll see what it's like. Now there are plenty of uh, Acura scale uh, reviews on the on YouTube uh, so if you're after a very thorough in-depth review I suggest you take a look at those I mean I'll um, I mean I'll go through some of the details on this but at the same time though um, I'm not doing a, a proper unboxing if that makes sense or an assessment so so well patched packed looking model so here we've got just a bit of a guide and a bit of the history now the reason I ended up getting uh, these is because they were made around the time that this layout is set so 1961 to 1965 um, the other thing is also they were pulled by a range of locomotives which also run on this layout as well for example my class 27 that I've just purchased but I've also you know a couple of black fives and a4s these are locomotives that i'll be running on this layout so you know they're going to be seen pulling these is it going to be in accurate definitely not i am just a you know this is a hobby i'm not uh, i'm certainly not a river counter now these are very well packaged in here uh, so for those that are saying you know we've got this packet which is held in by these little holes right here so it's packaged from below and above um, so let's pop this open and I mean, and without even getting these out, these look absolutely amazing already. Now, the other thing you may notice, and I'll explain shortly, is I've actually purchased the tops variant. So these currently at the moment sit out of period with the layout that I'm doing. So there they are there, for example. So beautiful, very, very detailed model. Um, we've got NEM, po NEM pockets. On the actual wagons themselves it's um it is very incredibly detailed like undercarriage um you know this to be honest not a lot of words i'm left speechless these are amazing looking um now so these are the these are the tops versions so these are out of period as they stand right now from what i'm looking at here the ones that were in period are the pre-tops, which are these ones that you see here. These have got the blue circle bulk cement logos on the sides here. Now, I've been looking at some prototypical photos, and yes, while these are okay and fine, I didn't want those signs on the side. I wanted these flat surfaces that you see here. So, that, you know, they've got this bit of, uh, I don't know what you call it, but some stuff here on the side where the sign used to sit. But some of the photos that I've actually got um, that I'm going to go off, there's actually a painted emblem of that blue circle cement on the actual side. I can't, I don't have much in the way of uh, proper photos of those signs hanging on the sign here, but I do have ones with painted things on them. Now, they are, I will weather these. I'm going to go through and do not a full repaint, but a, um, a few changes. So I'm going to obviously weather them up get rid of some of the detail that doesn't apply to this period, um, but also paint in a nice yellow stripe. And it's gonna be chipped and very reflective of the fact that they're you know, being a little bit worn. Um, they're gonna look still semi-new because obviously in the period they were built between 1961 and 65. Um, so to put them in period, they're gonna look still relatively new, but they're gonna look like they've been used. So um, very incredibly well, um, we'll get a bit more closer look on them. Okay, so there we are, looking a bit more closer. So, you know, taking a look at these models, we've got some wonderful looking details right here on the side. Um, you know, plenty of weld seams and marks here, which, you know, we can pick out with um, some paints and liquids, etc. Um, plenty of, um, you know, exquisite looking detail. You know, just look at the sides there with um, the amount of stuff, you know, from springs to suspension to lines. And even underneath, you know, they've spared no expense when it comes to the detail. Um, extremely good. We do have some sprung buffers. As seen there. Um, you know, you've got some beautiful looking materials on this. Um, so, yeah, so my plan is to give these a little bit of a change. Um, paint, repaint a few parts, obviously. And um, put them into the prototypical thing that I've actually seen. So these look absolutely very very nice um, and of course you know we've got some some railings and stuff on top so um, in the meantime I think we should get them on the layout and uh, have my class 27 pull them around the layout
Okay, so here we are back at the uh, layout. So I've got my class 27 here. It's been busy pulling a few other uh, wagons and, and freight. And of course, here are the Acura scale cement wagons. These look fantastic and are going to fit very well in the layout. And of course, the cement plant, which has been desperate, absolutely desperate for. Uh, some rolling stock that fits the uh, the area and also give my shunters something to um, to essentially uh, to shunt around so I think uh, anyway I'll stop talking and let's uh, get this fella done
Okay, guys, so there we have it. So that's this uh, monthly mailbox for August and indeed my subscriber special with the unboxing of these Acura scale uh, wagons, which are absolutely marvellous. My um, class 27 as well, which I mentioned about second hand. Me chocolate and cream coaches and finished off my rake of box vans as well. So I've got to get around to painting those as well as um, doing the touch-ups for those uh, Acura scale uh, wagons just to get them into my period as well. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, guys, thanks for following. Thanks, thanks for subscribing. And of course, uh, keep hobbying and be good. Take care. Bye for now.